What's up guys, today's video is about all the accessories on our ZV-1. As you can see, uh, this ZV-1 looks very different from like the ZV-1 that you would like buy off the store because the ZV-1 in itself has a lot of like problems you have to deal with. But after getting the accessories on, it fixes a lot of the issues that plague this camera. And now I would call this one of the best vlogging cameras out there. So this is basically the ZV-1 completely naked. So the first problem with the ZV-1 is you can see here in the battery door, uh, when it opens, it goes over the tripod screw. This means that whenever you change the battery or whenever you take out the SD card, you basically have to unscrew your tripod every single time. And that's not acceptable because first, the battery life on this is not great. Second, uh, your tripod is pretty much just like staying on your camera and you don't want to like unscrew that every single time. It gets annoying, right? So how do we fix that? We fix that with a rig. A rig is basically like a phone case, but it's for cameras and it just offers you more places to mount things. For example, a tripod. This one in particular is made by small rig. I don't recommend this one in particular because there are other rigs that are smaller and lighter than this, but when we bought the camera, it came with this cage. But if you want to buy a cage for yourself, I'll put up some screenshots of cages that I think are better because realistically, we don't need a big cage like this. So after you get the cage, you just like put the cage onto your camera and then it fits in place like a phone case. It doesn't utilize the bottom screw because well, that's the whole point of the cage, right? It wants to leave the bottom screw alone so you can access the battery. So it clamps into place with this screw here and then this screw basically clamps down on the lens so that it doesn't come loose it's like it's friction mounted and after that get this cage onto your camera uh, this is super useful because this leaves the battery door completely alone and then you can screw other accessories onto like these holes for example a tripod and all that stuff and of course the added benefit for this is you get like this wooden handle which i think looks pretty cool we have like bigger handles for bigger cameras with like the, the airy mounts, which you can hold like this. And with time, you can see on my handle, some of the parts are already shiny because I use it way too much. And this is like a good way to reflect back and then see like your progress with the camera, I guess. So it's pretty nice that this camera also got like a wooden like handbar thing here. Right, so that brings us to the tripod. And of course, the one I'm going to recommend is the one made by Sony because this connects wirelessly to the camera. So let's screw this on. And because we got the cage, we don't actually need to mount it to the camera. We just mount it to the cage. And this way that you can see when I screw it on, it leaves the battery door completely open. So I can have this tripod mounted here while accessing the battery. I like this tripod because first it's like a good handle so you can like hold it and block. Second, um, it's very easy to adjust. So for other tripod, like for example, a ball head tripod, it's got like a lever and then you pull it and then the whole thing comes loose. You can adjust things on all the axes. It just like freely rotates. This is useful sometimes, but now I much prefer this sort of like axis lockable um, tripod. So you press, you press a button and then it rotates on one axis and then you press another button and then it rotates on another axis. This is just a much better way to adjust things because almost never have the camera slanted. Like you almost never find a tabletop to set your camera on that's slanted and you need to adjust that. So it's it makes sense to completely take the option away from you. So you never need to worry about if your camera is tilted and you need to fix that. Sony has a lot of great wireless tech. Like for example, they got the wireless handle here which talks to the camera via Bluetooth and you can just like control the zoom and record and take a photo and then this is on and off and then this is a C1 customizable button. You can adjust all of that on the handle. On top of that moving on it's also got like two legs on the back so it extends into a tripod and you can set it down and then it collapses and then you can vlog with it. It's, it's like a switch pod. Okay, this is already like a setup that you can vlog with, but it's the ZV-1 lens is a 24 millimeter lens, so it's a little bit tight. It would be nice to have it go a little bit wider so you can like actually see things like what you're seeing now. So we actually have an accessories for that. And this is the Ulanzi wide angle adapter. 
And this adapter is really sweet because it doesn't really influence the optical qualities that much. It's not very noticeable and it's not got like crazy vignettes. It doesn't influence how the camera performs. And the first thing you do is you stick this adapter onto the camera. So the camera, of course, cannot screw anything in front of the lens. So you have to stick an adapter on, like this is stuck on the camera. And then after that, you take your lens and then you screw this on. And after you do that, this lens becomes an 18 millimeter lens. It doesn't add too much bulk to the camera. It's still like a small point and shoot. I think it's totally worth it. Uh, but if you can live with 24, uh, this is not a must have, but I would say it is so nice to vlog on a wide angle camera. The only thing that can be improved for this lens, I would say is first give us like 16 mil instead of 18, if that's possible, because you also have to factor in like image stabilization, which also crops in. The next thing is, this is actually the second wide angle lens we bought because the first one, we lost it. And the way that we lost it is we actually got it stuck on the camera and it fell off. Yeah, because this lens is technically being stuck onto the lens and that glue is not very strong. So when you get your lens, make sure you also buy like a super glue and just like glue it on there. Right, and next up is the most boring part of this setup and that is of course <laughs> the microphones. Nobody likes audio, but you like hearing good audio, especially in vlogs, because every time that like, you watch a vlog and the audio sucks, then it hurts your ears and you want to turn it off. So you make sure you want to get a good mic. The most obvious one that jumps into mind is the Rode Video Micro. And this microphone is okay. It's now got a built-in battery, so you don't need to like turn it on every time. You just like turn on the camera and this just runs. It's a cardioid pickup pattern, which means it picks up stuff mostly on the front and then rejects everything on the back and to the side a little bit. It's a pretty forgiving microphone and if you're not pointing right at your mouth, it also picks you up. If you get this, it's a great microphone and you should definitely use it. But if you're looking into buying a new one, we actually recommend this one made by Deity. Let me just like quickly explain what this does. So this is actually like a two microphones being stuck together. So the front end is a microphone and the rear end is also a microphone. So the advantage of doing this is now you can vlog like this and then have the front end pick you up. And then when you turn around and when you film something else, you're also talking into the back end of the microphone. And now let's play an audio test shot on this microphone. This is an audio test recorded on the DAD D4 Duo. <laughs> and now let's play an audio test shot on the Rode Video Micro. And this is an audio test recorded on the Rode Video Micro. This is an audio test recorded on the DAD D4 Duo. And this is an audio test recorded on the Rode Video Micro. And lastly, if you think that on camera mics are too bulky, too big, like it bumps into stuff, you can always use a laugh mic. And for a lot of situations, a laugh mic is a much better solution than an on-camera mic because it's much closer to your subject. When you're filming from far away, you can actually like hear people a lot more clearly if you're on a lav mic. And we actually made a whole video about this topic and you can check it out like here. Again, back to the lav mic. We're now again on a very, very busy street. And hopefully the sound isolation works a lot better with a lav mic because according to the inverse square law, the closer that you get the mic to the subject, the more signal that you're gonna get. Well, adding a laugh to a ZV-1 is really low profile. It's really, really sleek. And this is like the finished setup that we actually used to vlog. And this is something that we recommend for like general vlogging purposes because it's got like all the features that we need for vlogging in a very tidy, compact, cage and if you like to start like vlogging content we have a lot more like vlogging stuff on the channel both like our vlogs my life and kathy's life as well as like the gear you need to like actually start vlog you can check them out i'll put them in the description down below and lastly um yeah this youtube stuff is not easy and here's like a good reason to watch our video uh because our channel is like super small right now we don't have ads so if you don't have like YouTube premium, you can still like watch our, all of our content completely ad free. There's not even like sponsorship reads in the middle of the video. So this is like, like pure content um, that's benefiting you guys. And there's something like I enjoy making. And lastly, uh, what do you guys think about this microphone here? Cause uh, I'm trying to get like cleaner audio. And then this is like a lot closer to my mouth. And hopefully this sounds a lot better. This space here is like very echoey. So if this is not like close to my mouth, the audio just like sucks. So if this is like bothering you guys, I can like move it out of frame. I can do that. And then it will sound like a little bit worse than it's here. So 
yeah, this is really up to you guys. What do you guys think? Uh, let me know down below, comment section. Yeah, anyways, this outro is already like super, super long. So like, bye.